this video, we're going to perform a sum if in Google Sheets when our criteria is partial text or wildcard. So you can see here I have a data set of invoices. In the middle column, we have a field called vendor. And in our first scenario, what we want to do is perform a sum if for any vendor name that contains the word new somewhere in that name. And you can see we have four of those. So we're going to begin our sum if function. First input is our criteria range, which is going to be our vendor name column. Our next input is our criteria for that criteria range. Well, as I said, we want anything that contains the word new and we're manually keying that into the function itself so it needs to be enclosed in double quotes because our criteria is text and since we want anything that contains the word new anywhere in that field we need to begin our partial text with an asterisk type our text and then end it with an asterisk because what the asterisk does is it tells Google Sheets, okay, any sequence of characters preceding the word new and the asterisk on the end says any sequence of characters following the word new. So our final input is our sum range, which is going to be our amount column. So we do that and hit enter, we get $742. 42 cents. If I manually add up these highlighted amounts, we get exactly the same thing. So, what I can also do instead of keying the criteria, we could type this criteria into a cell and then refer to that cell. And we get the same thing. So now, what if we had a scenario where we just want vendors that begin with the word new? The only thing we would need to do is, in our criteria, remove the leading asterisk because now we're telling Google Sheets, okay, it must begin with the word new and then following that, any sequence of characters. So hit enter we get four hundred seventy six dollars and there it is so now let's say we want to find only the vendors that end with LLC so you can see we have four of those so we're going to begin with an asterisk and then following that asterisk the specific text LLC because we're saying okay any sequence of characters in the front and then following that we want the specific LLC which means it must end only in LLC and when we sum these items up manually get exactly the same thing. So in our next scenario, we want to look at maybe more like an ending number of characters um, following a space. So we have vendor names that end in space LLC or space CO period. So what we have in common here is these vendors end with space and then three characters. So again, we're going to begin with an asterisk because anything can precede this but then they only end in space and three characters. Now, to get a specific number of characters, what we would use is question marks because that says, okay, 
It can be any character, but we have a specific number. So we have a space and then three question marks. And when I do that, we get $1,229. And if we manually sum these highlighted values here, we get exactly the same thing. So on that note, we want to do the same thing here. In this example, we ha have product IDs and then product ratings. And you can see we have single A, triple A, I'm sorry, double A or triple A. And what we want to do in this first scenario is perform a sum if on any product rating that contains three characters. So in my criteria column, I just have three question marks. Our criteria range is our product rating column. Our criteria is going to be cell E2, three characters. And then our sum range is going to be our cost column. So you can see we get $311. So what if we wanted to sum on just the items that contain two characters? Well, I think you know by now that's a pretty easy fix. We have $479. And if I add that manually, we get the same thing. So now, what if we wanted anything not equal to two characters? Which would be all the single A and triple A. Well, we just precede our criteria with a not equal sign. And we get $551.94. And I just want to manually sum these here and confirm we get exactly the same thing. And we do. So in our final example, we have uh, a similar data set, but we have mixed character product ratings. We have some that are B, BB, AA, and then some mixed ones that contain AAB or ABB. And in our final scenario, we just want to find all the, the product rating products that both begin with the letter A and end with the letter B. And we have two scenarios. So in our criteria column, we're going to add specific text on the front, question mark in the middle for any character, and then a B on the end. Criteria range is going to be our product rating. Our criteria is going to be cell E2. And then our sum range is going to be our cost column. We get $151.98. And when I sum those manually, we get exactly the same thing. So that is how you can perform a sum if when you have partial text or wildcard criteria. That is all for now. Please remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.